Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today we're looking at velocity problems, uh, specifically using vector equations. So when we have a vector equation, for instance this one, what this tells us is if we're at point 0.19 and we've got the direction of 3, negative 4, so 3, negative 4, so the direction is this way. When we're de dealing with velocity problems, there is lots of information that we get from this. Um, first thing, um, some of the, sometimes IB asks us for the initial position. So the initial position is 1, 9. It could ask us for what is the velocity. The velocity is your, um, your direction. So that's 3, negative 4. So velocity equals 3, negative 4. And that takes into account direction. Sometimes they're going to ask for your speed. Your speed does not take into account direction. But if you're going to go 3 this way and 4 this way, well, to figure out what your speed is in one hour, you just have to figure out what the hypotenuse of this triangle is. So if the speed for this one equals 3 squared plus negative 4 squared square root, which is equal to 5. So the speed is 5. Then we could take this question one step further. For instance, what happens if we increase the speed to 30 meters per second? Well, if we increase the speed to 30 meters per second, well, right now we're going 5 meters per second. If we increased it to 30 meters per second, we've increased it by 6 times. And therefore, the velocity is now 6 times 3, negative 4, which equals 18, negative 24. And therefore, if you want to know what the vector is, well, the vector for this one would be um, xy is equal to, we can still use the first point of 1, 9, plus the time, so for every hour, and we're going to do 18, negative 24. And then if we looked at this and you tried to figure out what is the speed of this equation, well, the speed is square root of 18 squared plus negative 24 squared, square root it. And this is equal to 30 meters per second. And that's what we wanted. Hope that helps. Have a good day.